Meantime, a close watch tonight on the water levels along Highway 23 in Plaquemines Parish. Now, the highway was set to be closed after a levee breach yesterday, but it remained open today even as water crept over the northbound lanes of traffic. Heath Allen shows us the impact. So it took a little bit of time here on this Sunday for things to kind of get back to normal from Myrtle Grove all the way down here to Port Sulphur after that levee breach yesterday forced Highway 23 to close. I, I know our levee systems are pretty strong down here and it didn't bother me at all. Like last night I walked up on the levee, man, I still seen I had full foot of clearance. That levee breach yesterday, of course, not one on the Mississippi River levee. Actually, it was one of the, the huge system of back levees that they have in Plaquemines Parish for flood protection. So that water poured over that levee and it forced the closure of Highway 23 for a time. But until they could get the debris closed, they had to keep traffic to basically a standstill. But once it opened, it was clear sailing after that. Water did kind of start getting on the road at Myrtle Grove. We were kind of thinking we might be locked in in the parish and not be able to evacuate if anything did else happen. But, you know, nothing happened. Our parish, they worked hard and they uh, got everything done and squared away for us, man. So now we're talking about things getting back to normal. And as you can see behind me here on this Sunday, Highway 23 is back open. It's not raining. Things are getting back to normal. In Port Sulphur, Heath Allen, WDSU News.